much of our healthcare now is really much more complex than it used to be. We work in teams of people. Uh, we work; those teams can be extremely sophisticated in the sorts of things they can do in humans and changing people's lives for the better. But that makes the whole of healthcare much more complex than it used to be. And what we're trying to do in transforming Tayside is get ready for the next 50 years uh, of healthcare, the complexities that come from that, and try and produce best value for taxpayers uh, across the whole of the healthcare spectrum. So traditionally in medicine, the doctor uh, would tell the patient what was going to happen, the patient would follow that, and that a lot has changed in the last 20 or 30 years. But more and more, we want people to understand their own healthcare as best as possible. And that, because we know that people make better decisions if they understand their own issues around about their healthcare. For many years, healthcare was a fairly simple process. I remember when I started back in the 1980s, a fairly wise clinician saying to me, you know, you only really need two people in any healthcare. You need the doctor or nurse and you need the patient and everything else is extraneous, everything else is extra. And, and actually that, that may have been true 30, 40 years ago and for many, many healthcare uh, interactions that was the only thing that mattered. But now really medicine is much more complex. When I talk about the complexity of some things, let's talk about a kidney transplant. It requires sophisticated teams of people to be able to do that. And it may be that there's only one place in Scotland where it's right to do that sort of complex healthcare. Or it may be it's one place in the north of Scotland where we can do that sort of healthcare. Or it may be that it's just one place in Tayside for these sophisticated teams of people to work to get the best possible outcomes for patients. And what, what do I mean by outcomes? I mean getting out of the hospital earlier. I mean living a better life. I mean getting back to your job or your family as quickly as possible, as good health as possible. And that's what we really want from those fancy, complex healthcare interventions. But it's not all about that. Actually, what we can do is take health closer to home in many ways as well. Many of our treatments are suitable for patients to administer at home. And in fact, although we're asking some patients to travel further for healthcare, we can now beam into patients' homes, into your home, and have consultations with consultants in hospital in people's homes. And that information technology, the use of new information technology, uh, has greatly changing the way that we can do healthcare. So there's going to be all sorts of changes for people with diseases. Some of it will be closer to home, but some of it actually might involve more traveling for better outcomes. But we're only going to ask people to travel further if actually the healthcare is better from that.